Hello dear students, I am Jalisha, Assistant Professor, Department of Mathematics, St. Joseph's College of Arts and Science for Women Hoso. Today we are going to see the equivalent formulas in discrete mathematics. We are going to see a uh, few problems uh, solved using the other equivalent formulas, other existing equivalent formulas. In the last video, we have uh, gone through with few basic equivalent formulas how it arrives and how we can prove using the truth table all those things are explained in the last video now in this video we are going to see two problems based on that equivalent formulas let's move into the topic here in this question they have asked us to prove the term negation p cup negation p cap q and negation p cap negation q both are equivalent to each other so first here we are considering the left hand side value so negation p cup negation p cap q in this this is the whole bracket and this is the smallest bracket okay so out of that Here, we are taking this negation inside the whole bracket using the De Morgan's law. So, applying that, what you will get? Negation P and that negation is applied to the second part that is the small bracket. But while applying this negation inside using De Morgan's law, by its property, the connecting terms between those two, that is connecting operator between p and this bracket is cup that will be changed into its opposite form that is cap so it is applied in this uh, line next uh, checking here this is a single term so he we can't do anything now here next is a bracket in that bracket negation is a common term there so again we are going to apply de morgan's law here so this negation is applied inside the small bracket of each of its term so negation of negation p and this negation is applied to the second term that is negation q so while applying this again by de morgan's law cap will be changed into cup now this negation of negation will get cancelled using the double negation law so the third line will become negation p cap p cup negation q now uh, the operators are different so we can apply only the distributive law here what is distributive law we need to apply p cap p cup then negation p cap negation q this is d market law that is if you are having a number format that is a into b plus c is there means how we will do a into b plus a into c in the same format here also we are uh, applying the cup and cap values. So, using that, here you will get negation P, cap P, then cup will be common. Again, negation P, cap is paired with negation Q. Now, using the identity law, negation P, cap P. Here, first, uh, let's change the order. Negation P, cap P. By using the identity law, it represents F. Cup, here both are different terms. So, now we can't able to apply any of the formulas here. So, we get F cup negation P cap negation Q. Now, applying the commutative law, we are changing the order. What are the two terms in this? The bracket term is 1 and the other one is F. So, both uh, orders are interchanged there. Uh, values so place values are changed so what you will get negation p cap negation q cup f now using the identity law uh, we are having p cup f is equivalent to p this you can verify using the truth table so in the last before line in the place of p we are having p negation p cap negation q 
So if it is disjuncted with F, then the answer will be the term. So we have given here term as the final answer. Hence, uh, check it here. Negation of P cup of negation P cap Q is equivalent to negation P cap negation Q. That's the thing we need to prove. So let's move to the other problem. In this problem, they are asking to prove as P cap Q tends to P cup Q, which is a tautology we need to prove. So here our aim is not to uh, show it as an equivalence, but we need to prove this is equivalent to a tautology. That is a true value. For that proof, we are going to use the other equivalent formulas. So let's take the whole statement. P cap Q tends to P cap Q, which is equivalent to, uh, we are having an uh, identity that P tends to Q is equivalent to negation P cup Q. This is an uh, proven equivalence formula. So to keep it in mind easily, if we are changing tends to into cup format, then the first term of that biconditional will be replaced by its negation. So this is the formula's meaning. So we are changing tends to into cup. If so, the first part is having now negation. So in the same format here, we are having P cap Q tends to P cup Q. Here the first part is P cap Q and the second part is P cup Q. So while we are changing this tends to into cup, the first term will have the negation property. Okay. Now checking this, what we can do is negation is outside the bracket. So we can apply here the Demarkin's law. Negation is taken inside. As we know, if we are applying negation inside as per De Morgan's law, cap will be changed into cup. That is given in the next line. It is changed. Second para bracket without any change it is there. Now for this line, we are going to apply the associative law. The reason for applying associative law is if two different operators are there, that is one cup and cap is there means we can go for distributive law. But here all the operators in the bracket is cup, second bracket is cup, then the common is also cup. So all are same means just according to our wish we can change the order using commutative law and then we can pair it. Okay, so we can write that line as what is there? Negation P cup negation Q cup what is the next term? P cup Q. So, we need to pair the P terms and Q terms. So, the middle term should be changed in their orders. So, using commutative laws, we are replacing the two elements. Uh, we are not replacing, we are changing their orders, interchanging their places. So, what you will get? First term will be as it is. The last term will also be as such. The midterm will be interchanged. So, first P will come. And next, negation Q. Now you can pair the elements. You can put the elements. So actually in this line, we are applying the commutative law. And in the last line, uh, which I have uh, given here, we have applied the associative law. So then by the identity law, P cup negation P will be equal to, equivalent to true. Then mid value is cup there. Again, for a term, it is disjuncted with its negation, then its answer is true. True cup true, put the truth uh, table and analyze it, it will be equivalent to P. So finally, here we had uh, given and proven the answer as true. So what we get? P cap Q tends to P cup Q is equivalent to P. That is this statement is the tautology. So to cross check means we can apply the truth table and verify that the whole statement's final answer will get it as a tautology, fully true values. Here are some of the practice questions. 
uh, you need to prove give the truth table for these uh, options the second question you need to prove this as a tautology so the last problem will support you to do uh, or solve this uh, second question uh, whereas the third one uh, we need to prove p tends to q cup p tends to r and p tends to q cup r are logically equivalent so we can take the first uh, left hand side value and we can first change this tends to into cup format afterwards we can use associative or distributive or commutative law to uh, make it equivalent to p tends to q cup r so finally if you want to change that uh, value into tends to format the previous line you are having cup means that cup can be changed into tends to at that time what you want to do for the first term you need to put a negation so that will be the concept for uh, hope uh, it will be easy for you to uh, solve these problem next video we can go with the normal forms in discrete mathematics thank you all